So you cajoled Mr. Bolanis' landlord into letting you in. And then what? Then I found the guy's gun. Taped the handle and the trigger. And stuck it in my pocket. Back home, I filed the numbers down. And you used the gun to kill Mr. McFadden, right? That's right. Why did you use Mr. Villanus as your scapegoat? Got a big mouth. Everybody in the union knew he hated McFadden because he took over the company and ran it into the ground and all. And? Plus, he's dying of cancer, so what the hell? What's he gonna care, right? Who paid you to do the hit? My cousin Eddie. Tell me, Mr. Palmieri, do you recognize People's Exhibit 37-M? Yes, I do. It is a check for $100,000 made out to you and drawn from the account of the Ann McFadden Foundation. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. On the books, it was supposed to pay for my union people to uh, set up the tables and stuff for the annual banquet. The Foundation's annual banquet? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Corcoran had the check signed by the secretary. Objection. Outside the scope of the witness's knowledge, Your Honor. Let me rephrase the question. How did this check get into your hands, sir? Well, I was having dinner at Park Steakhouse, and uh, Mr. Corcoran came in and joined me for dessert. Then what happened? He gave me the check. He told me to take care of the problem that we had uh, discussed earlier. What problem? McFadden's indictment. <clears throat> He said if McFadden goes down, he'll name names and we'll all go down with him. So the check wasn't for setting up tables? What are you kidding? It was to kill Marsha McFadden, right? Objection. Withdrawn. Tell me, Mr. Palmieri, why did Mr. Corcoran pay you $100,000? was to kill the English guy, McFadden. Bring him around the back stairs. Thank you. Thank you. I could use a friend. Always did, Dwight. That was always the problem. 